But when someone says to you, what do you think of gay people, what's your answer? Well, uh, um, I, uh, I would, my answer would be what uh, uh, St. Mother Teresa said when she was asked the question. Yeah, tell, I love this story. Yeah, she, she, she was asked that question, and she said... Um, in an interview, uh, right? In an interview, yes. She <laughs> said, uh, you mean beloved children of God, right? Well, yes. So, so what do you think of gay the, people? Uh, you mean beloved children of God. You know, so I mean, this is really the. Uh, and then he had to proceed through yeah, the interview with saying that. So, regarding the gay. Beloved children of God. <laughs> exactly. And how can you resist Mother Teresa? You can't. And she saw things right. Yeah. So, when I see, uh, you know, the, the gay pride parade is going to be, we're in it, outside of Atlanta, that's going to be in Atlanta this weekend. And, and the gay pride parade there, I, I see these people marching, and, and I am filled with love for them. You know, I, I'm not, I don't, I, I, I sit there and I think, uh, I want to invite you into the fullness of your dignity as a beloved child of God. But how can you say you love them when they, what they are doing, they find actually liberates them? Like, why can't it just be, look, you found your path to happiness, you're not going to call yourself gay, uh, but they've found their path to happiness as well, and it's a little patronizing someone might say, to say, look, I love you, and I just want you to be happy. And they're like, I'm happy. Like, leave, leave me alone. Well, and, and those people, I, 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 I do leave them alone. Right. You know, I don't, I don't, um, I, I honor their self-determination. Uh, God did that. You know, he, he, he made us free and autonomous beings. Right. Uh, and, and the story of the prodigal son really brings that to home. Mm. So you're not going to stand out with a bullhorn shouting no, at people. Yeah. No, no. If if uh, if I were any time I meet um, a really, uh, you know, especially if somebody's an activist or I just I just, what's your name? I want to know your name. What's your story? Hmm. It's nice to meet you. You know, I I want to leave aside these issues because I know it's just I'm just going to be a mosquito or a thorn in their side. There's no sense of me. Yeah. Me trying. You know. Like, it comes back to what we said before. The, the church always proposes, never imposes. That's a very key It's point. an invitation. And, and you yeah. know, You've I... You've never had a priest knock on your door and, no. you know, re raid the cupboards, remove all the contraception, let's say. No, no. It, it, there's, there, part of honoring our dignity is honoring our, our freedom to make choices. Yeah. And, and sadly, sometimes we make choices that lead us away from God and happiness and we're blind to it. And, you know, I am convinced uh, that everybody who identifies as LGBT will only find true happiness and freedom by embracing their created nature as, as male and female by God and then living a chaste life if, if that's what that, uh, you know, if they're, if they're not going to be able to have sexual expression, then chastity becomes a gift and that leads to freedom.